Hello everyone, the Blue Pineapple Phoenix here. Today we will look at the prospect of Scratchman Apu being one of the flying fighters. Hello once again! Scratchman of Pooh is a character that gets a lot of hate in this community for no reason. A Pooh allied with Hawkins and Kid until Kaido crashed their party and a Pooh and Hawkins joined him. Though Kid apparently fought Kaido and got defeated just like Luffy. The obvious assumption is that Kaido gave him the choice to join him or die. That is the assumption everyone is making, so I will be going by that assumption as well. The reason that Apu joined Kaido is because he's not an idiot, not because he's weak. I know it's cool to see Luffy and Kid defy all common sense for their dream to become the Pirate King and stand up to anyone no matter how strong they are, but it literally defies common sense. Most people, like Apu, know they aren't ready to tussle with a Yonko with their current strength, so they play it safe. Apu knew his own strength, which is why he went under Kaido. The same goes for Hawkins, but that doesn't mean they are cowards. Most pirates wouldn't be stupid enough to challenge Kaido to his face when they know they aren't strong enough to beat him. None of the Supernova planned to stay under Kaido most likely anyway. But even though Apu wasn't strong enough to defeat Kaido, which was obvious from the start, I do not believe he is weak. I actually think he is a member of the Flying Fighters, along with X-Drake and Page One, which makes him one of the strongest Supernova if this is true. For those of you who don't remember, the Flying Fighters are the six strongest headliners in the Beast Pirates crew. I have two reasons for thinking this. The first of which is the way Oda usually goes about it. In a group, the strongest one is usually revealed last. This is not a rule of thumb, but the ones revealed later are usually the strongest ones. In Wano, we have seen all Supernova who should be there except Killer and Apu. Of course, Killer's probably hiding and trying to figure out how to bust Kid out of jail. But in Apu's case, I think Oda's waiting to show him to us because he's stronger than Hawkins, and maybe even stronger than x -Ray. That reason is kind of vague, I know, but it is still valid to an extent. My second reason is Apu is the leader of the on-air pirate on air, and then Kaido's seemingly strongest subordinates besides the Calamities are the flying fighters. See what's going on there? On air? Flying? On air can be interpreted as flying. Of course, Apu's on air is referring to music, but it is still foreshadow. On air equals flying. And even just look at Apu, who is one of the strongest supernovas in the Sabaudi Archipelago arc. He blew Kizaru in half. He can play music that causes damage to his opponents, and that damage is determined by what type of instrument he plays. And he can turn his body into instruments, such as turning his teeth into piano keys, or his arm into a saxophone, so he can output that damage at any time. He also seems to be able to hypnotize people. So you can see Apu has already got great potential before the time skip. So this theory isn't that far-fetched in light of that. In conclusion, I'm saying that Apu, Scratchman Apu, is one of the flying fighters of the Beast Pirates and one of the strongest supernova. He is not to be underestimated. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, and only if you enjoy my content, like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more One Piece content. I will see you in the next video.